Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are doing a fun pregnancy video. So what we're doing is we are going to test old wives tales for pregnancy symptoms and what old wives tales say are a boy or a girl. So Adam is team girl. You've been team girl all along. I keep going back and forth on team girl, but then like in the back of my head, I'm like, but I really love mama's little boy. So let's see, we have one more week left until we get the gender, the blood test gender DNA results. So we figured this would be really fun to do. So you guys can let us know in the comments below. Give us a pink heart if you're team girl. Give us a blue heart if you're team boy and let us know why. Is it because of our calculations here with these wife cells? Is it a feeling? Is it the way I look? Is it just, you just know. Let us know. Okay. Okay, the heartbeat test. Heartbeat. Yes, so if the baby's heartbeat is over 140 beats per minute, it's old wives tale says it's a girl, and if it's under, it's 140. So we only saw the heartbeat on the handheld at 12 weeks, but at eight weeks, I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it was 160. I know for a fact it was over 140 because my sister is yeah. super into old wives tales and yeah. she's like, yay, team girl! Because I think everybody in our family, everybody is team girl, everybody so far. Okay. Pretty much. Where is mommy carrying her weight? If she's carrying high, it's a girl. If she's carrying low, it's a boy. Unfortunately, I'm still early. Everybody carries low at this point, but I can tell you this. I've gained weight more quickly in my hips, my lower body, like my hips spread a little faster than my belly popped. So of course I texted my sister, who is the queen of superstitions and wife cells, and I was like, hip spreading before belly's popping, what is it? And she's like, that's team girl, it's your hormones. There's, so we have, what? Team girl. What do we have? We have two checks for team girl? Yes. Mm, yep, let's, here. Here. Yes. Morning sickness, if you're very sick, it's a girl. If you're not as sick, it's a boy. Girl. Girl. 100%. I could not get off the couch for eight weeks. And even, even yesterday, I'm 13 and a half Don't weeks. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, you can, you can control. <laughs> Especially because I'm left-handed. Dangerous. You're on my left side. <laughs> it's my Italian hands. All right, there we go. Even yesterday, I was feeling sick again, so my morning sickness is team girl. Linny and I, so that's when you get the black line down your stomach. I am still too early. Black line down Oh, you've your never stomach. seen that. So I've never seen it's that. It's a hormonal thing, right? So I will, most pregnant women, not all, but almost all, get a black line that goes down Really? Their belly, yeah. It goes away. It takes a few months after you're pregnant to go away, but they say that if it's below the belly button only, it's a girl, and if it's above the belly button, it's a boy. Again, I haven't even popped yet, so I just have a teeny tiny little bump right now. I'm only 13 and a half weeks. We are finding out the gender through a blood test, blood test. so we don't have the belly or the black line yet. Hmm. So, real quick on this black line. <laughs> are you nervous? No, I'm just, I'm curious. I'll show you pictures on my phone of it. Okay. Okay. If you get acne, they say it's a girl because your hormones are doubled because now you have your own estrogen hormones and then you have the little girl's estrogen hormones. If you don't get acne, they say it's a boy. My skin has never looked worse. Now, that is team girl. However, my acne has been around my chin and my mouth area, so I'm not sure if that's from wearing a mask there were a few times where I wore a mask over makeup. There were a few times where I actually was sweating in the mask. But I did get a couple breakouts on my forehead, mostly chin, which is, this is the estrogen area, but. So what are we saying? That's team girl. Team girl. That's team girl. Team girl. girl. I don't know, we're looking pretty good. Yeah. I saw this one online and I don't, I've never heard of it before, but you have a vein in your eye. You're gonna have to look for me. You have a vein in your eye anywhere under here. Okay. If it's in the shape of a Y on my left v eye, it's a V or a Y, it's a girl. On my right eye, it's a boy. And if both it's twins, which we know it's not, but let's just see. Do I, <laughs> do I have eye veins? <laughs> <laughs> Is this better or worse than when you had to pull lettuce out of my mouth last night when I was joking to death? <laughs> That's true love. <laughs> that made me fall in love with you even more than I already was. I was just choking. I think it was. Like, yeah, me a little worried. I saw it in your face. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'll just make it up. I don't 
Do you see any veins in my eyes? I mean... It hurts. I'm getting wrinkles. Okay, okay, hold on. Stop doing that. What are we looking for? It says a V or a Y. Is it supposed to be on the bottom? I think it's supposed to be on my eyeball. Really? Yeah. Do I have veins on my eyeballs? I've got eyes. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, there's no V and there's no Y. Okay, so that's a nothing. We're not counting that. Yeah, we're, we're definitely not counting that one. What is it? It's a Chinese gender reveal or predictor, but I haven't taken it. Should we look it up really quick? Sure, let's okay. do it. Chinese baby gender revealer. Revealer? <laughs> oh, wow. This is actually a thing. How old were you, were, were you when you were conceived? 25? Okay, 42. When did you conceive? October. Predict. That's it? I guess. It's a girl. The Chinese gender predictor says it's a girl. Uh, they have a disclaimer. Our Chinese gender predictor's forecast is not scientific. It's really just for fun. Looking for a more reliable answer? Find out when and how, how <laughs> your healthcare provider can tell you whether you're having a girl or a boy. Don't sue me is what they're saying. Team girl. Team girl. Ring on a string. Oh, oh have you ever heard of this? Hold on, hold on. Because, okay, let, let's just recap real quick. We have five checks for a girl. Yep. Zero boy. Are you happy? Are you doing backflips? Two questions. So, listen, let's, even if. Those two were boy? Even if those two fall on boy, we're still. You're way getting your daddy's little ahead. girl. That's right. What's funny is you're wearing blue. That's right. I'm wearing blue. Okay, so the ring on the string test. I used to do this when I was a little girl. Hold ring on. Ring on the string. Yeah, I have to get a ring. Hold on. We're going to get real ratchet, and we're going to use the headphones. Okay, so here's what you do. This is crazy. You put the ring on a string, right? Yeah. And you put it over my belly, okay? Oh, this, this is very scientific. So scientific. I've been doing this since I was a little girl. Very, very, very. So if it Wait, goes... You've been doing this since you were a little girl. Yeah. It tells you, like... If you're, it, okay, so like, let's say you would do it over your wrist when you were a little girl. What? And if it goes in a circle, I think it's a girl, but you have to double check. And if it goes in like a line like this, it's a boy. And then if it's, so like, I would get like girl and then girl. And then when it stops, that's as many kids as you're having. But that's when you were a little kid. I mean, I probably got it different every time or my sister would probably be like, you're having a girl. <laughs> circle. I knew I was going to get a hit <laughs> at some point, right? Circle is girl, back and forth is boy. Okay, so this is gonna get real scientific. Very, very scientific. I'm right. gonna lay down. You're gonna okay. give you my belly. All right, let's see. Now, see my huge baby bump. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Now what am I supposed to do with this? It's gonna move. What do you mean it's gonna move? It's gonna move. Give it a minute. Yeah, it's. Oh, this might be our boy. This, this is boy. A girl would be a circle, a straight line. That's a circle. Oh, that is a circle now. Are you sure it's not twins? <laughs> let's, let's try again. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, this, this is very scientific. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because we're, we're using the key ring and headphones. It's supposed to be like a wedding ring and a necklace. <laughs> Stop laughing. I can't help it. Okay. Circle? That's it's hard for me to see over these knockers. Oh. Is it a circle? The circle's getting bigger and bigger. It's a girl. It's a girl. The ring on the string says a girl. The ring on the string definitely says a girl. Because okay. it did that twice. Twice. We had two circles. I saw twice. that too. <laughs> Little did you know you thought you were going to get attacked with a pen. Good thing I took the pen from you. Okay, so this one we can't do because we don't have the ingredients and we were both kind of grossed out by it. But you have to buy red cabbage and you boil it which we did not want to do because we live in a small condo the house would stink, stink. Sure. but you mix that with your urine and then if the liquid is and you cook it no you cook the you cook the cabbage you cook the cabbage and then you take the cabbage water and you put that in a cup and then you mix that with the pregnant girl's urine if it turns like a reddish pink it's a boy and if it turns greenish or unchanged, it's a girl. We're gonna skip that one, but we do have another one that is equally as disgusting because it deals with pee. Hold, hold on, like I'm really intrigued by that one. Do you wanna go buy a cabbage? Oh, we have shredded cabbage, but it's green, it's not pink. That's, I'm just wondering, what is it about the cabbage? Like, why would it even change from one color to the other? I don't know. Should we look it up? 
I'm definitely curious. Or like, who discovered this? Was it like an old grandma? Like, what what ethnicity eats a lot of cabbage? Corned beef and cabbage. Is it like an old Irish grandma that knew this? Mm -hmm. That like, but how do you discover this? The pregnant lady leaked in the cabbage pot. Like, how did you discover this? <laughs> Who's like, bring me your pee? We're making cabbage. It's St. Patrick's Day. Are we having a girl or a boy? It better be a girl because it'll be green. Yeah. But the second one we're doing, we are going to do this just because we're going to play science class and we're going to play with my pee. Ew. It's the baking soda test. I just so happened to get baking soda yesterday. And I'm using totally, what's the word I'm looking for? Appropriate? Like appropriate that it's the pregnancy pop drops box because I'm almost through them. I just put them in a Ziploc bag and I keep them in my purse because I use them when I get car sick. Sure. But we're going to throw this right out because bleh. So this is a huge shout out to my dear friend Annie Hopwood who sent me the bump box. Greatest gift ever for a pregnant woman. Take two tablespoons of baking soda and we mix it with my urine. I could pee on demand nowadays so we're fine. If it fizzes, it's a boy. And if there's no reaction at all, it's a girl. So I have to go pee in this. Okay. Ew. That's funny. I peed in a cup earlier today. Too. You did! Yeah, I do that. We should have mixed with baking soda and see if you're having a girl or a boy. Nasty. Okay. Is that how you bring your pee out when you pee in a cup? Uh, or you're not really bringing it out because I'm watching it? Yeah, I don't ever really get to touch it. I mean, do you want to touch it? No, I'm saying I just get to pass the cup right off. Okay, so since you're the dad, and you're used to pee in cups. You get to do the honors. Oh, since I have experience with this? Yeah. What did it say? Two tablespoons? I don't know. Two tablespoons. Baking soda. So we have a tablespoon, we have a baking soda, a baking soda, we have a box of baking soda, and we have... Fizz is a boy. A thing of pee. <laughs> Hold this one second, I don't want to drop the pee. <laughs> yeah. Careful with that. It but looks gross. This isn't even open yet. Open it fast. This is oh, what are we doing here? Out. It's all for the YouTube. Why, why is this gross now? It's warm pee in my hand. Yeah, well, you know, I've taken enough pee tests. Wait, what's fizz is a boy and no reaction is a girl. Okay. Two tablespoons. Yep. What is this result for the thing? Well, our result is girl, so don't worry. We don't have to worry about it. Huh. Nothing. Well, there's a little bubble. Is that? That is not fizz. No, it would be like vinegar. I don't know, but that's that's not it. No fizz. There is no. I mean, it kind of looks like Alka Seltzer, or is that because I'm moving? No, there is zero fizz there. Fizz is a boy. No fizz. That's it. No fizz is a girl. No fizz is a girl. There's no fizz. There's no. Is there. All right. It was like dump the pee. I'll dump the pee in the toilet. That's usually where it goes, right? <laughs> okay, so let's tally them up. Not that we need to, because I don't think we got any boys. Out of how many were there? Ten. Ten, but we have to take out a couple because we couldn't do them. Um, we did not do the cabbage. We did not do. We didn't have the belly button or the. Uh, the black line down my belly. Nor the eye vein. Yeah, so we really have seven. So out of seven, how many did we get, girl? Seven. <laughs> did I say that funny or you're saying we got seven? No, I'm seven. saying seven out of seven. I'm not shocked. Literally every single person we speak, speak to, spook, spook, spook. <laughs> every single person we speak to is team girl. And people are like, you are experiencing exactly what I experienced with my girls. I did not experience anything with my boys. However, my sister Christina said all along she was team girl, except when I told her that all I want is salt, like I cannot get enough salt and I crave chocolate. She told me, believe it or not, that chocolate's a salt craving. Remember? Yeah. From the very beginning. Yeah, yeah. And then also like when I crave sugar, I already put this in another video, but when I crave sugar, I can only eat fruit because I do not like the taste of refined, Sweet. yeah, like refined sugar, like sugar that we're all used to. It grosses me out. It tastes gross to me. And then the feeling in my mouth afterwards, oh, I have to brush my teeth right away and I still feel gross. So if I crave sugar, I have to eat grapes or an apple, or any kind of fruit, I'm good. Even the chocolate I eat has to be very bitter and very dark. So I don't know, are those salt cravings? You guys let us know in the comments below. This was really fun. 
next video is going to be our gender reveal. So we're going to do them together. We love you guys and stay tuned. Make sure you ring that bell so you are notified as soon as that video posts. What else? That's it. I think that's it. Team girl? Team girl. He wants a daddy's little girl more than anything else in the whole entire world. We love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Mwah.